hi everyone it's me again kiana and welcome back or welcome to my channel for those who don't know who i am my name is kiana like i said and i do bookish videos here bookish vlogs book reviews book tags whatever you want to call them and we are going to be doing my march tbr now i plan on reading one two three four five six books normally i read between four or five but that's okay i do have two books rolling over from my february tbr that i really do want to get to in march so let's just go ahead and get started with the video the first book i want to read is dial a for aunties by jesse k sutano absolutely love this cover and it says on the back what happens when you mix one accidental murder with two thousand wedding guests and then toss in a possible curse on three generations of immigrant chinese indonesian family you get four meddling asian aunties coming to the rescue when Madeline chan ends up accidentally killing her blind date her meddlesome mother calls for an even more meddlesome aunties to help get rid of the body unfortunately a dead body proves to be a lot more challenging Challenging to dispose of than one might anticipate, especially when it is inadvertently shipped in a cake cooler to the over-the-top Bonier wedding that Medi, her mom, and her aunts are working at an island resort on the California coastline. It is the biggest job yet for the family wedding business. Don't live your big day to chance, leave it to the chance. And nothing, not even an unsavory corpse will get in the way of her auntie's perfect buttercream flowers. But things go from inconvenient to downright torturous when Medi's great college love and biggest heartbreak makes a surprise appearance amid the wedding chaos um my little sister has read this and she loves it and so me and her like go back and forth with our books so hopefully i like this too i then want to read fairy tale volume 11 i've been reading these for like the past year i try to read one every single month and we just follow a guild of witches and wizards lucy is a celestial witch she has the power to contact the zodiac signs uh natsu is a fire witch uh, wizard gray is a ice one ice wizard and in the back the last one we got the backstory of ezra who was basically one of the le leaders of the fairy tale guild and now in this one hopefully we will get more of ezra's backstory because i absolutely freaking love her so yeah looking forward to reading this I finally plan on reading Here's to Us by Becky Abertali and Autumn Severa. This is the sequel to What If It's Us and it has been so long since I have read What If It's Us. I think that came out in 2018 but I do remember it. So we follow again Ben and Arthur. Ben has survived freshman year of college but he's feeling, he's feeling more stuck than ever. His classes are a slog, his part-time job working with his father is even worse and his best friend Dylan has been acting weird for a week. Benny's own only real bright spot is his writing partner Mario, who's been giving him a lot of Spanish lessons and even more kisses. Mario's big Hollywood dream makes Ben start to dream bigger, and the choices he makes now could be the key to reshaping his future. So why can't he st stop thinking about a certain boy from the past? Arthur is back in New York City for the first time in two years, ready to take the theater world by a storm of as the best um, intern to the assistant of an off broad director. Of course, it sucks to be spending summer apart from his sweet, reliable boyfriend Mikey, but when but he knows their relationship is strong enough to weather the distance which is why it's no big deal when his ex-boyfriend ben stumbles back into the picture and it's definitely fine that ben's blissful happy with some mysterious boy first loves are special but it's way too late for what ifs right i always forget who writes who but i do like both writing styles sometimes i like becky's writing sometimes i don't so i am looking forward to reading this and i just realized my nails match this which is hilarious I then literally just got this book in a book unboxing, so this is a spoiler alert because I think it's going to go up after this video. And I want to read Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. Um, this is one of my anticipated release. And we basically follow a girl. So we follow a girl named Dang who has been raised on the moon and she doesn't know that she's been hidden from the Celestial Empire who her mother has been exiled from from stealing the elixir of immortality but when her magic flares and she is basically exposed she's forced to flee her home leaving her mother behind um alone and powerless she makes her way to um to the kingdom and in disguise she trains alongside the emperor's son mag mastering her magic and archery um despite the passion that they have with each other to rescue her mother she embarks on a quest um but forbidden magic threatens the kingdom and she must challenge the ruthless empire emperor to save her mother i absolutely love this is a fairy tale edition and i'm just i can't wait to read it 
So then the two books that are rollovers from February is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, uh, The Sorcerer's Stone by She Who Should Not Be Named because I do want to do a reread of this and The Undercover Bromance by Lisa K. Adams. This is the second book in the series. I think it's like four or five books. I still want to read both of them. I still plan on reading both of them. Harry Potter is a quick, quick read. This is like a three or five day read so I'm going to dedicate a week to that. But yeah, so these are all the books plus these four that I plan on reading in the month of March. I'll leave them right here to videos I feel you guys should go check out. I try my hardest to post two to three times a week. Sometimes life gets in the way, sometimes work and school get in the way. And I'll hopefully be seeing you guys very soon with another video. Bye guys.